I'm in Sheffield at Sarah Tizit UK and Ireland new technical centre. We're here today to find out exactly what this actually means to the industry. Tony, for 23 years now, Sarah Tizit have been selling tooling solutions into the UK and Irish market. Now, further expansion with this technical center, but what does it actually offer customers and potential customers now? Yes, Mark, so for 23 years now, we've been serving the UK and Ireland market. Uh, 10 years ago, we invested in our first technical center um, across the road at our main head office. Uh, we've now invested in this new site, 5,000 square foot site, on the advanced manufacturing park in Sheffield where the AMRC is located. So we're in the, the center of all uh, latest technology activity. Um, it, gives, it allows us now to invest more in customer projects. So we can, in this facility, where we've got five engineers permanently. Uh, we've got two well-established engineers who've been with the company more than 20 years, one being our technical manager. So in addition to that, we've got three University of Sheffield AMRC graduates who started as uh, apprentices with ourselves and we took them through the training with the AMRC. So the benefit to this technical centre as well, Tony, is that you've got uh, a load of guys on the road. They're all technical guys. They're from industry. Uh, and when you look at some of these components that you're, you're proving out on some of your partners' machines, like XYZ, for instance, um, They've got 100, oh, well, over 100,000 tools and solutions to look at in your catalogue. I presume this really helps them as well, doesn't it? Yeah, as you say, Mark, we've got 40 engineers at the moment, all time-served, apprentice-trained, time-served engineers um, out on the road and also in the project centre here and also in our technical support office. Um, what this allows us to do is obviously to test all the latest tooling on different materials so that when we go and visit customers, we're confident in our approach that we're applying the tools for the right benefit for the customers. Uh, and added to that, you've also got the training aspect as well, because that's quite crucial for, for your customers to actually learn the best ways to actually use your solutions. Yeah, there's, there's two aspects of uh, training for us. One is for customers. So in this facility now, um, we've got a, a theoretical uh, presentation for customers when we run customer training. So we go through the theory of cutting tools, all about detect, uh, wear detection, about uh, different materials, how they're made, how to apply the tools in a theory basis. And then in the second part of that, then we come down on the machine shop and actually show them the machine, uh, the tools in, in action, you know, to show them what they can do. The idea of that, they can look at, think about jobs that are in their own machine shop and take that technology and what they've learned back into the, their own machine shop to make some time savings, cost savings, for their own companies. And the second part to that, Mark, is our own training. Obviously, as you say, we've got 40 engineers at the moment. We're looking to recruit three more engineers, three application sales engineers for Scotland, Northwest, and West Midlands. That's to increase support in those areas where we've got demand. And they will be trained in this facility as well. So they'll go through a more intensive theoretical training and a more intensive practical training, but it's along the same lines of what we do with our customers. Mm. Talking with some of your technical guys, they get involved with a lot of project work, Tony. How do you actually work with those projects at this new technical centre? Yep, Mark, we, we basically, from a project point of view, this technical centre, we can take customer drawings, uh, take it through to a final proposal, produce the first component here, and then we can give the customer a full breakdown of cycle times, the process, we can give them a full tool list with all the costings, so in essence, they can come to us with a drawing of something they want to produce, and then we can go back to them with a full proposal to take it into their machine shop and to produce it. That's, uh, that's how we do it. I suppose a bit of a game changer really, isn't it, this investment, because a, a lot of this work did go back to, uh, to Europe and obviously taking the customers over there, but now they can actually come here and it's not too far for them to travel, basically. Yeah, we used to do it before, Mark. We used to go back to our plants in Austria or in Germany to do this kind of thing but obviously then you've got the, the time involvement in terms of travel obviously recent years complication of travel as well so there's nothing better than having it here in Sheffield we can invite customers up they can come and spend time with our engineering team here you know work through ideas together and then work on a solution together all the way through from the start as I say from the drawing right the way through to the first production of the first part works really well 
And with over 100,000 products in your portfolio, I suppose at the end of the day, it starts here, doesn't it? Yeah, as you say, 100,000 products in total, 60,000 in the catalogue, you know. There's not much, not much that we can't do. Um, so we obviously look for the best tools for the best parts of that application, because obviously we've got many tools that do the same things, but in different strengths and weaknesses. So it's our job as en our engineering team to identify the right tool for the right part of it in each part of that process. Mm -hmm.